out very famous of course for defeating Hikaru at Switchfest along as along with a myriad of others he's going to be facing 6-9 the cloud this will be a good one to start Rockstar Ace is perhaps his style of Wii Fit is perhaps very different than a lot of the other prominent Wii Fits that we see across the United States which isn't particularly many to be fair but he's very in your face not going to hesitate, not going to stall towards center stage, especially if we already have some things active. And I'm going to be joined in just a moment by Vance, as we already see Rockstar Ace get the first kill. That's a zero to death, and with a bit of style as well. Why did you choose to name yourself after a guy who snitches on his friends, dude? And then six nine, come on, man. There are, there are better names out there. I'm sorry. All right, anyways, let's get into the players. We got the introductions out of the way. We did indeed. Rockstar Ace is continuing up the pressure, not going to let anything go past, not bumping it down after the zero to death. And look at him, he's still playing up close, even without that, you know, without the deep breathing. Oh, still surviving? I mean, if that percent's not going to kill, so it's really good for Rockstar Ace. So. Perhaps not. Oh. Nice, going for jab at a shield instead of a usual grab. Sometimes you'll usually see Nair, but jab, pretty good, frame data wise. Mm -hmm. Good back air, but misses the soccer ball, did not have the height, just registered. Although, good wait out on the cross slash. This thing about Wii Fit Trainer, too, is that as of this, as of this current game, right, like the last one, Wii Fit Trainer actually has a limit <laughs> with the way deep breathing works and sensitization as well. The character has received some buff. That's like, from that part of the stage, that was some crazy stuff. Really did. It just sent him directly to the corner. No amount of DI would have saved him there. Mm -hmm. Here we go. These up airs, he's continuing to juggle, and this could be a three stock if he's not careful. Yeah. The I like the space in here, positioning, getting ready for the whip punish. Especially Moss Cloud like to come in. Okay, that was good. That was good usage, but unfortunately, you're going to have to dip low, and you won't be able to go that low. Yeah, just. Uh, go on. No, sorry. Go ahead. The um, thing about here at this situation, too, is like you kind of have to respect the fact that like, when you're Cloud, um, being set on the stage with the projectile is really, really tough, so sometimes Clouds would like to go for that early direction air dodge, especially if that far off. That buys them a little bit more time in arrow drift to come back on the ledge. And one of 6ix9ine's biggest mistakes, especially in disadvantage, was just not getting the height right on his up -E recovery. Yeah. He just dipped above the ledge at least three times in that first game, and I think all three times it cost, at least twice it cost him a stock directly. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned earlier how, like, jab out of shield's pretty good. Uh, three, three frames shield drop. Um, frame 4 startup, so it's about 7 frames. Really good on a shield option, honestly. Usually anything below 10 is pretty good. <laughs> if it's, it's above 10, you might want to reconsider your options here and see what you got. Absolutely. Narrow the shield for Cloud, perhaps while it may have lost a bit of range, it still kept the frame data, so it's still yeah. a decent option. Yeah, still a solid option. Up B seems to be more of a favor as of late, though. Mm -hmm. Great use of Nair into up air, and what a setup there. Unfortunately, we kind of saw 6-9 uh, trying to align with the directional, sorry, with the down air. Had to waste the limit there, though, and went straight into the F smash for Rockstar Ace. That's going to be the first stock, and with the deep breathing still active. I'm feeling bad for this guy. He did not auto snap the ledge, unfortunately. He just went overshot it. Gotcha. Right. You know, the hard part about this game, Matt, is I'm watching my man take L's, but I, I feel like he's new. <laughs> so. I'll give it to him on this one, man. He's able to use direct air dodge to grab the ledge, which is pretty good. I mentioned how like some clouds have to go for early, but unfortunately you have to make sure you're deep off the stage mm -hmm. rather than that or that like that far into the stage. Like you have to be high into the corner to survive <laughs> that one. Yeah, because of the end lag. All right, reads the down air. I mean, contrary to popular belief, Cloud is still honestly both of these characters are actually really great high tiers. The one thing though is that Cloud is kind of somewhat over underrepresented because like I mentioned earlier, right? Like the one thing that Cloud do lose is some range in some of his moves. Right. And then like for Weaver Trainer, like that's a character that's not that easy to master. Almost got the up smash to finish it off there. Although good up he out of disadvantage to get himself back to the stage, although falls into the F tilt once again. Clouds in with the dash attack and with the deep breathing on deck, this could be the end of it. Oh, that was good. That was a great setup too because he actually was supposed to come behind Cloud so that he could actually get the smash before three hits. Did not line it early enough and dash attack for the stock and the victory there. Fist bump 2 yeah, Another three stock. That's going to be a guilty verdict for 6 9. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you went with that. I, do, I really like how you went with that. <laughs> Yeah, man, unfortunately, man, uh, in the court of your peers, man, you have been judged guilty. That is going to be a lifetime, or at least...